I'd like to um, introduce Paul Gering. Um, now, he's a tax partner or partner at, at PKF, um, but I, I think I can say more than that. That's all I have on the on the brief. Um, <laughs> making making time up here, Paul, so that we can the other people that walk in. Paul Paul is actively involved um, in uh, making submissions. All we we see him in Parliament when we speak to the Standing Committee. So he's actively involved in tax, and 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 he's, to my mind, the first tax practitioner went to a tax court, and won, on behalf of his client. So as a CA, he went to the tax court and won. So, Paul, you are speaking about incentives for small businesses, and the um, remarkable why they don't or why they do work. I welcome you to the stage. Thanks. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm looking at why these things aren't working as well as they ought to and um, what might be some of the reasons why uh, Davis Committee is looking at uh, having these things scrapped. So it's the problems that result from them. I mean, we all know, uh, we've all been told a number of times that we, we need small businesses to create jobs. Uh, the statistics are there that small businesses create jobs. Um, in fact, in our country, the vast majority of people are employed by smaller employers rather than the larger employers, although we all sort of defer to the, the big mines as, as the big employers, but the reality is people are employed in other places. And yet South Africa isn't doing what it ought to be doing, and like many things, we 52nd out of 54 countries in where small businesses really ought to be in creating jobs. So we then have the other problem that we need to create 11 million jobs if we're going to give any meaning to the National Development Plan by 2030. And one of the calculators that have been done on this is 49,000 scalable small businesses growing at 20% per annum will do that. But then we need to have encouragement in that sector and development of that sector if we are going to do it. And yet that's not where we're going. So it's not like we are the first to be looking at small businesses and what they can do. Uh, the Mighty America went through its big crash now in, in the 2000s, and yet where was their driver? Their driver was small business. The majority of people employed were employed by small businesses. That's the driver that they have seen, and that's the driver that they have used. And that's the focus and the attention that they've put on things. And yet here in South Africa, we're well below where we really ought to be in small business and small business development, and what we are contributing as small businesses to the economy there seems to be a lot of mismatch. And that's why when they say the incentive isn't working, well, it hasn't worked, um, but maybe it hasn't worked for other reasons. So we set up a ministry in 2014. And, you know, I have some problems with this. That their focus is on all the politically correct jingles. Let's just find jobs. Let's just create small businesses that are going to create jobs. Whether they've got the right jingle with it or not, that's not the relevance. We need so many jobs. We've got 36% of the population unemployed. That should be the focus. And yet they're putting some more red tape for small business. The very ministry that ought to be removing red tape for small business is in fact creating because they want us to have a licensing of business bill to regulate every enterprise a little bit more, just in case we haven't got enough. And this is one of those ministries that in